And once you get those first conversions from your auto campaign, that's when the real fun begins. And if you remember what I just said about an auto, we're setting one bid for everything. That means we're bidding the same for really strong things that we're showing up for, and we're bidding the same bid for really weak things that uh, are, we're appearing for as well. And this represents an opportunity, right? Remember that core thesis of Amazon advertising, do more of what works and do less of what doesn't work. So we can't bid differently for different terms that we're showing up for. So we have to do a process called research, peel, stick, and block. RPSB. So the R is research, and that's what we're doing with the auto, right? We're showing up for all different kinds of terms. And then we peel, we peel out the good things. So we peel out the good terms, and then we stick them into the second sponsored products ad type, which is manual targeting. So we looked at the search, we looked at the search terms we appeared for in our auto, we downloaded our report, we found something that's good, and we are going to Peel it out and stick it into a manual. And that's the second sponsored product ad type. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, this is kind of the second place where sellers can get really tripped up. The first place is probably when they go to create an auto campaign, they may get tripped up over the bid or the budget. But we kind of discussed those. And now this is the second place where uh, you know a lot of sellers really do get tripped up. Uh, is when they go to create that manual campaign, where do they go to get all of those converting terms that they mm -hmm. found from their auto campaign? Yeah, Brett, I just got off the phone with someone. Um, he had probably 30 keywords in a manual campaign, and the performance was not good. Uh, and I asked him, like, hey, where did you get these keywords? Uh, and he said, oh, you know, I got them from, like, a keyword research tool. And... I sort of had to catch myself, had to take a breath. But really, when we do this, that's another research campaign. Um, meaning, you put terms in there that you don't know the level of performance. You know, sure, they might be relevant, they might describe your product well, but we don't know that level of performance yet. And that is a big deal, if that makes sense. Uh, it, so there's, there's auto and manual campaigns. And really, we want to think of like there's research and there's terms that you know convert day in, day out. So if you are going to run manual campaigns and drop in keywords or drop in product targets that have not converted anywhere else yet, we have to remember that this is a research-based campaign. We have to remember that this hasn't converted anywhere else yet and we are trying to find out if it does convert. We're buying that initial data. Mm -hmm. and, and that's, that's my rant. <laughs> That's probably one of the most common things I see when I hop into somebody's account is manual campaigns that are just stuffed with broad match and phrase match keywords that are just performing horribly. And every mm -hmm. time I ask the person, uh, they do they end up getting it from a keyword research tool or these were keywords that they saw on their competitors' listings uh, right. or, or these are things that they just came up with in their head and it, it's really not the best way to go about optimizing. Right. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with doing any of those things that you described. There's nothing wrong with keyword tools or trying to scan through your competition. But we have to remember, there's no guarantee that these things are going to convert because this it's not based off any real data from your account. You want real data from your account? Auto campaigns, my friends. That's why we launched that auto campaign. And we get real data on what converts. And then we that's our research. Then we peel out the terms that convert. And we stick them in a manual targeting as an exact match. And then we know the level of performance for this keyword. We're going to bid aggressively for things that do really well. And if something converts, maybe a, a little lackluster, but it still converts, then we're going to bid really small. So that's this process that we're doing. We did our research. We peel it out. We peel out what converts. We stick it into a manual targeting. And the last step is we actually block it from triggering in our auto because uh, we want it to show up in our manual targeting so we can bid exactly what it's worth as opposed to still bidding the average of everything in an auto campaign. Mm -hmm. So that's the process that I'd love to nail down. So we haven't even talked about broad and phrase yet, uh, keyword targeting. I'm just talking about taking exactly what converts. So taking the exact search term that converted in the auto, turning it into an exact match, uh, putting it as an exact match 
in a keyword targeting ad group, and then if it's a product that converted in the auto, so if you see an ASIN starts with B0, so when you're looking at your search terms in your auto, if a keyword converts, grab that, turn it into an exact match manual. If it's a product that converts, grab that, turn it into a product targeting, so target just that product. So we wanna go from knowing fewer things about what we show up for to know to knowing more things about what we show up for. So when we cast an auto net, when we launch that auto campaign, there's loads of things that we're not going to know we show up for. So we need to look at that search term report and then we want to do our peel, we peel them out, we stick them into a manual exact or we stick them into a manual product targeting and then we block it from the auto. And that is that's the general trend that we want to follow. Uh, and I love getting fired up about this, Brett. Yeah. <laughs>